What's up everybody? Today we're going to go over key tips to be able to win every game in Madden 20. So you can see in the gameplay right now, the first thing I am doing is establishing the run. The reason why I want to do that is to see if my opponent has run defense. If my opponent can't shoot the gap, if my opponent doesn't have setups to be able to stop the run, then I will use that more and more. Now, on the other side, if your opponent is running the ball over and over, you need to make sure that you have run defense and I am the person to be able to assist you in that. Down in the link in the description has the best run defense on YouTube.com. So you can see right there, on a short first and five, my opponent gets aggressive and I hit him with a quick underneath route. Now he has more people in the box to watch the run and that's when you are able to mix in the RPOs, more of the stretches, more of the inside zones, more of the halfback draws. I just updated every ebook. If you had the offensive ebook, I just updated that with a defensive guide one on one to help you be able to shut down the run and just get overall better at Madden 20. So, tip number two run defense. If you can force your opponent to put the ball in the air, it's only about 5 or 6% of the community that like to pass the ball. Everybody wants to run, run, run. Until they patch the game, you're going to have to get some run defense. And I like to use the 3-4 bear, mixing in the 3-4 even. Sometimes I will use the 3-4 I, but the 3-4 bear is the go-to run stopping defense. Now, when I know my opponent has to pass the ball, that's when fluky stuff like this starts to happen. And that's what people are afraid of. Now, if you want fast blitzes that you're going to see later on in this video, that is in my custom. Or you can go in the link in the description and get beginner tips on how to blitz or the full breakdowns on how to blitz or you can follow my patreon so here we go second and six and i am sending the fastest blitzes on youtube.com to my opponent now i can mix it in with some coverage he thinks the guy is open i use shading techniques i take that inside leverage away from him and he throws it and we end up with a pick walk off the game in the playoffs 21 to 0. everything in the description gives you what you need to be able to dominate from a noob to a pro. Let's go.